Welcome back to Thick Riff Thursday. Today, I was scrolling through the comments on my channel and reading and replying to some, and I was also simultaneously jamming on the guitar and just, you know, noodling around as you do. And I saw a comment that was like, I bet you can't, no, I'm just kidding. It didn't say that. What did it say? Let me, let me go see what it says. So at Eric Handel says, sounds sick. Any thoughts on doing some heavier stuff? I think you could come up with some awesome riffs in the same vein as era, invent, animate, and currents, etc. So I was reading through comments. I have my guitar in my hand. I read that comment and I was like, yeah, I could do that. Like, okay. I don't really listen to era and event animate. And I've actually never listened to Currents. Era and Invent Animate, I don't really listen to often, but I have a pretty good understanding of their sound. And Era has a little bit more electronic elements, but they're both pretty riffy bands. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna write something that I think sounds like the same musical area as Era and Invent Animate and likely Currents. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I do already kind of have a riff in mind that I started noodling around on, as I said earlier. So what I had was... Yeah, something, something like that. I've got that little phrase there. And I can move it around a lot, so I could go like... You know, something like that. And then after that, I kind of had in mind like a variation of that. So like. You know, something like that. I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. You know, I'm just going with the flow, but I like the flow so far. By the way, if you guys want to download these Archetype Nolly presets, go to architecttigerstudios.com and you can also contact me about my mixing, mastering, producing services. The link is in the description. Ooh, that could be a cool way to end it too. All right, all right, all right. My, my, I'm, my brain is rolling with too many ideas at the same time. Let's just get these down. I need a space in between the... something cool there instead of just like, or like a. Oh, that could be cool. Let's roll. Two, three, four. That, okay, I like started to improvise a little bit and I ended up coming up with something cool. A good, well-rounded riff that comes around in a nice way. And I kinda did it by accident. That's perfect, that's perfect. It's a nice A, B, A, C structured riff. And you know, uh, I learned way too many Dream Theater riffs at a young age. And that is very much a John Petrucci thing to do. It's kind of just stuck in there. Maybe I should get the second riff scratch take down to not forget what I was doing. Ooh, I like that too. Two, three, four. I could pan those left and right. Okay. I've noticed lately in my writing template that the symbols are way too loud. Turn those down a little bit. Hey, 
Hey, if you guys are interested in watching extended edits of Thick Rift Thursday episodes and even downloading the mixed stems from the Thick Rift Thursday riffs, please consider clicking that join button down below and checking out the membership tiers I've made available. All right, back to the video. Maybe like, bah, 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 da, 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 and then take the same riff, do it half time. So repeat this riff twice. It's kind of long, but we'll see, we'll see. We've covered this before. Step one in songwriting, just assemble the riff salad. Get the ideas in there. You can rearrange it later. I got it, I got it. Then I can go China there. Obviously. I want to splash on that last kick. And let's do this riff. You know what? I don't know if that should be China again. What if I do stack? Let's try it with the stack. You know what? Maybe the loose stack. This might be a little too tight. There's a loose stack in here. That's cool. It's almost like a China, but it's different. There we go. We've got all the drums in there. I've got a scratch take for the guitars. We'll start getting good takes with the guitars. Three, four. First half was pretty good, I think. Let's get the double for this chunk. That was pretty good, right? Actually, it was not. It was not good at all. Nice. There we go. Got the riff. I feel like it could go to the variation immediately. Instead of to the halftime version of the same riff, I feel like it could just go to the halftime variation. Yeah. I, I really don't care for this happening right there. Maybe later in the song when that riff comes back, it could be just the halftime version of that riff, but like, I think it should go to the riff variation. And that would be like the verse, probably. This riff is really jumpy and I don't wanna have to program bass for it, but it would sound really good in Euro bass. <laughs> All right, what tuning am I in? Let's change the tuning. I'm gonna drop F sharp. So three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three. Time to program bass. <laughs> that's those are the notes, but that's so so hard to do quickly. I could do it half time actually. Let me do that. And then what I can do is go in here, and there's a MIDI option for doing it twice as fast. I think it's in functions. What is it, MIDI transform, double speed. What's happening? Oh, there was a pop-up on my second monitor that I didn't see. Okay, operate only. I already have it selected. Look at that. Can you believe that? Okay, so here's the deal. I need this to be a hammer on and I need it to be on this string. I say hammer on, force that string F8. Go all the way up to F8. Perfect. Ah, these I need to force the B string, which force B string is G8. So let's go up here and let's copy, boom, F8. G, G8, 
so the very top of that. So now it's going to force B. And that's a hammer on. And now I can just copy and paste that. And then every time I'll just change the notes. So, cause I have the pattern, I have the articulations down. I can just change the note. There we go. Okay. And then this is still just a scratch take for the guitar, but I want to hold those notes out on that third time through, but like, you know, all right, let's get some takes for this riff that are not the scratch tape. Oh, whoops. Forgot how to count to four. <laughs> I forgot that I wanted to pan those. I don't know if I want... Maybe the first time it'll be part of the main riff, but the... I mean, the second time it'll be part of the main riff, this thing. But the first time it could just be something that only the guitars do. Only the guitars do it. Not even the drums. Some like splash bell stuff in there to like fill the space. Maybe hi-hat. Yeah, and then the guitars are just going to do it, but pan left and right on each one. And then the second time around, both guitars and the bass and the drums will do that little thing. That could be cool when the whole band does it. I like that. Okay, I want to edit this up too. I'll like time lapse this so it's not so boring. Okay, the timing is not perfect, but you know, if I were to actually like wanna release this and mix this, I would make it perfect, but uh, we're not there yet. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I want some like production guitar stuff in here too. I don't want to just leave it at the riff. I'll, I'll see what else I can do. Now I would imagine, you know what? Let's, let's do some cross referencing here and let's see what kind of like production stuff Invent Animate has going on. Those guitars are beefy. That riff is sick. Yeah, I mean, they've got like spacey, reverby, clean guitars and stuff going on. So I've got my clean patch here, but the reverb on Archetype Nolly is good, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. I think if I pull up the reverb on Archetype Plenty, let's just turn everything else off, but the post effects. Okay, I don't know, let's, let's see, let's see. How does that sound under this riff? I like that. Okay, let's try Valhalla on it. Let's try to be tasteful with it. I think for like reverbs, you kind of have to crank it. I'm trying to remember which setting, which mode is like the best. I think Sagittarius is the best one. 
Let's not have too much sparkly high end on it. Cool. I kind of was like playing it super plucky, but I think I want it to be a little more subtle. Yeah, like that. A little more chill. That's good. That's sick. That decay sounds awesome. What if I double this track and literally copy and paste it, but pitch it up an octave and then turn it down like a lot. I don't want it to be too crazy. Let's hear how that sounds. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I said like era in Invent Animate, but we're going like old school Tesseract. <laughs> that sounds so sick. Anyway, let's add some bass drops. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and add that impact. I love that impact and this bass drop and this reverse symbol. Let's do one final playthrough. Let's get the mastering chain on there. That's it right there. That's the jam. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Thick Riff Thursday. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great Thursday and I will see you guys next week. Peace.